Okay, well it's been a minute since I've actually recorded a video because I recorded so many at a, at one time. And so now, all that stuff in the back of the green truck right there, I gotta get thrown away. But I don't know where my keys are, so I have to find my keys. I was gonna take it to a dump somewhere, but we have a, a little dump in the back back there that I'm gonna use. Found the keys, God, it's bright. So anyways, I'm a little under the weather today. And uh, I don't feel that great, but this is stuff I can mess around with. I'm actually gonna pull the kayak trailer out today and start doing some cleaning and some other stuff. Oh, I need to get done. Yeah, see all this trash in the back? We're gonna go make it disappear. I'm tired of looking at it. Truck ain't been started for a while. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, see? Just a bunch of trash. And uh, I'm tired of looking at it. Going to uh, get the trailer pulled out today. I need to clean some fishing rods and reels and put new line on. But I gotta move all of this stuff in here to get to it. Cause I need to get to this trailer. And I don't know. I'm just gonna start on it today. Basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna put lawnmower and everything back in here and the kayaks actually back in here. And I'm gonna leave the trailer out and every afternoon after work throughout the week, I'm gonna just kind of mess with some certain things. But I got a tent that's got beet sand in it. Anyways, I'm gonna start this lot more and then we'll get some stuff moved out of the way. I got too much stuff in the way. All right, well, let me get this lot more moved. All right, <clears throat> lot more's out of the way. Some of the stuff's got to go back in the trailer. Some of it's got to come out of the trailer. Ah, yeah. Because it won't be long now. And it'll be time to take these two bad boys out on the water. Can't do that just yet. It's a pretty day, though. I need to get up and clean the roof off. And, uh, I got so much stuff to do around the house. But right now, I got to, uh, I got to get this stuff cleaned up. And, uh... I'm gonna go dump this stuff here in just a minute. Then we'll get this trailer pulled out of here and I need to wash these kayaks. Let me see how dirty this one is. It's filthy. The other one's filthy. I need to look at some stuff I wanna get done on it. Ain't no time like the present. Go get it dumped. All right, well, I'm out here at the, uh, with the dump and I'm gonna get this stuff thrown away and then uh, we'll go from there. So let's start doing it. Alright, this is some stuff, some floor mats and my uh, pedals for my Hobie and then my fishing net and stuff like that that were in the toolbox that I didn't want to throw away. But, but now we're heading back up to the house to do a little cleaning in the garage. And I don't know how far I'm going to get today, I don't feel that good. Oh yeah, fire's up, hurts like a kitten. Alright, throttle back with the bing and got a big cactus right here I'm trying not to run over but also not run over this brush pile right there so I need to burn that brush pile right there I need to burn that brush pile eventually oh yeah sounded good nothing like a little Texas pinstripe and I may go fishing this weekend if I get the trailer ready in time but probably not to be honest I want to go see if the corn's still on the ground up here at the feeder well either this thing's not going off and we've had some serious turkeys. You can see there. There is not much corn on the ground. I don't know how well you can pick it up. Cows are mad at me right now. Because they want food. And I don't have any food for them. But they're just going to have to get over it. I don't have food for them. 
Little cows. At least the back of the truck looks good now. It's been full of crap for, I don't know, a month now. It's kind of hard to shut a gate one handed. Bag. I'm almost certain that that thing doesn't have any air in it. So. Oh no. Air it up. A little Walmart air compressor. Goodness gracious. I wonder how long it's been since it's been recording. Ugh. This isn't the most fun part of this, but I put this block here. One of these bags has a real slow leak. And so I put this block here so it doesn't mess up my airbags. There it is. Got it. All right. This is so much fun. Now I gotta move this thing down here. Somehow it's balancing there. I'm gonna move it. This is ridiculous. All to just pull a dang trailer out. But here she comes. <clears throat> I don't leave much room to get in and out of the garage. I think that's as far as I want to get it out. There we go. Okay. Now let's see if we can get it unhooked. I can actually back up somewhat so I don't have to, uh, so I don't have to worry about my wife having to park too far. All right. the fun part is unloading it and getting everything cleaned because this thing is very full of things you can't really see in there right now but it is quite literally full of things but that's part of it and so you can see I don't know if you can see actually. In here, right here is rods and stuff, storage. Looks like I get everything open. I'll show y'all a little better view of everything. There's my tool, literally my tool box here. All my tools that I take with me everywhere go in there. And so, I had to fix doors the other day. You can see there's a new screw right there. I don't, actually you can't see. Let's turn that down. There we go. You see there's a new screw right there. And uh, 
<coughs> Man. I'm over it. But let me get some stuff unloaded. And we'll go from there. Well, I got it all cleaned out. You can see the doors are closed on it a little bit. But uh, I got all my dang fishing poles and everything in here. And so, sorry if you can hear my uncle in the background. He's helping my grandmother. But I'm going to get all those fishing poles ready to go. I'm just doing a little bit of time. So today, my main goal was to get that cleaned out. I'm going to leave it open and dry. Let all those boxes dry. Because some of those boxes have all my fish stuff in here. There's my crate. For my kayak and so i'm going to uh, actually let everything dry today i'm going to close these garage doors back down um in a separate video most likely i'll start doing all my tackle i need to get all the string off of most of these rods some of it's new and so some of it i'll leave alone and some of them haven't even been used and so i'm just going to clean reels and everything tomorrow and uh and so actually the next video will be kind of a all put together a couple of days because I have to I have to get all of these dang rods and reels and kayaks and everything ready to go I got to order some stuff for the Hobie I'm putting new fins on it I put a new rudder on it um, I'm gonna order a backup kit for the uh, rudder so when you turn and everything just in case it ever breaks I don't want to not have one and so anyways that's my plan for today so i'm gonna let these dry throughout the day and then i will uh move the kayaks in here so they're not sitting in the sun all week and then i'm actually going to probably move these rods and reels into my playhouse so that when i get ready to do it i can uh i can just do it all in there it's kind of a little better area and set the camera up on a uh, deal and pull string off and reorganize tackle box and my other deal that holds all my tackle in it and that's the plan as of right now and so i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna move these and then i'm gonna go inside and actually edit this video but you can see the trailer here i got my paddles on the front of it and a lot more sitting next to it but i like the heck out of it man i, I thought it turned out really good when i built it as you can see it can hold four kayaks and then it has all of that storage on the inside of it. I don't know how well you'll be able to see in here. But you can see it holds a lot of stuff. And it's got separate, I got a little table here for when you're out camping. You can uh, put stuff on there and get it clean and ready. Or not get it clean, but get it all ready. And then, of course this is the back of it opened up. And then, like I said earlier, there's my rod box up on top and uh, all that. Sorry, my wife called. I know I'm distracted from the kayak trailer, but y'all y'all get the gist of it. And when I put everything back in there, I'll go over more of it. But I'm going to line these rods up on this wall, and then you can see my desk back here. It's a cluttered mess. But when I uh, start doing all my fishing stuff again, I got a TV in here, and so I'll, uh, I'll get everything cleaned up, and then... We'll go from there, but I'm gonna get these rods moved and so give me just a second. All right, got all the rods and reels moved and uh, I'll kind of show everybody what I have going on when I make the next video. But I mean, you can see like these two big camouflage rods right here. Those are just my catfish rods. They're not for salt water or anything like that, but I go to a lake uh, called Calaveras right outside of San Antonio and I like to take those and put them on the kayak and go out catch some live bait with the cast net and then get on the kayak and go out by the dam and catch some catfish it's a good time so there'll be some of those videos coming up I got a, I got two action cameras now and so I'll be excited to be able to use those but I'm gonna go kind of close up the garage and get everything closed up for now like I said I'll let these dry the rest of the day all of these totes go in the trailer this tent right here or the canopy goes in the trailer um, this is our actual tent right here it goes in the trailer it's kind of crazy but this trailer's not all that big I think it's 
a 10 foot box. I think it's a 10 foot box with a two foot overhang for, or two and a half foot overhang for ice chest. And then, uh, you know, like I said, it's got the four, it'll hold four kayaks and stuff like that. So I'm going to, uh, but you can see all the stuff. Here. This is my, one of my extra kayaks here that I've been trying to sell, but nobody's, uh, nobody's been wanting to buy. So I'm not going to give it away. And so I don't need to sell it, but I'm not that worried about it. But other trucks sitting here and then the garage door's closed there. I'm going to close this one up. Let that one, let that the trailer and everything sit out and dry. I need to uh, paint. I don't know if you can see the, the axle underneath it right there that runs this way. It needs to be painted. But, you know, like there's my bona fide seat and my catch thing. Or my catch, my catch thing. My measuring board. And then tackle boxes for soft plastic is the one that looks like a bag that's my salt water extra stuff and then the crate and then there's the grill that when we go camping and stuff that's what we take and hopefully there's some camping trips this year and i know we have that cruise coming up in like 54 days or something like that and so we're going to vlog a little bit of that i appreciate y'all watching i hope y'all are enjoying the videos and uh stay tuned